G'day and welcome to Pepsing. Now today you're gonna to learn how to make a server verification system that looks just like what you see being used on the top most popular Discord servers on Discord and just about every other server you come across on Discord. These include the welcome screen, the membership screening, and of course the verification reaction role. Obviously you don't need to add all of these steps to your server, but either way I'll run through all of these one at a time in the video. To do this, first I'll explain how to correctly set up your server roles and permissions, then how to make the clickable verification reaction role that you see on most servers, and then after that as a little extra, I'll show you guys how to make the membership screening page and the welcome screen to your server. So let's jump into it. The first thing we'll set up is the roles and permissions of your server. This is obviously the most important step as controlling your channels and members will be a complete mess without doing this. This is also important to know because no matter what verification buttons or Discord updates, Discord adds, the basic role structure is going to stay the same no matter what in Discord. So so the basics of the verification system go like this. You have your server here and we want new members to either not be able to see or not be able to type in the channels until they click the reaction role and verify themselves. We then want the new verified members to be able to see and type in all the channels we want them to and preferably have the verification channel disappear from their view or at least not be able to click on the reaction to undo their verification. Thankfully, this is super simple to do. We begin by going to the server settings and then clicking on the roles tab. Now, it's important to note that if your server automatically gives out a role to a brand new user when they join, I don't recommend this as automatically giving a role to a new member will allow them to bypass your membership screening, meaning that if you wanna set this up on your server in the future, you're gonna to need to have your new members be completely without any roles or they won't see this membership screening page. So from here, I also highly recommend that you go to your at everyone role and turn off all of its permissions. There's multiple reasons to do this. First off, it makes it just much easier to organize your channels. Secondly, that's how I organize my server. So any tutorial I show on my YouTube channel, you can then easily follow that because you have the exact same settings as I do. And lastly, creating a text mute command for the members that are breaking rules on your server relies on the at everyone command to have permissions completely completely turned off. Next up, we're going to create the verified role, also known as the role that is given once a new member clicks on the reaction and they are officially verified on your server. You can call this role whatever you want, but all you need to do is obviously go up here, click create role, and then once you have a role, just name it whatever you want. For me, I'm just going to call it verified as that is easy to follow. As this is now the verified role, you're going to want to give them at minimum the view channels, send messages, and read message history permissions but you can also add any other extra permission you want the verified role to have. For example, change nickname or any other thing you want to give the verified role. So to sum this all up, basically with the at everyone role, you want all the permissions to be turned off. And with your verified role, you want them to be able to view channels, send messages and read message history. And now just cross out and go back to your server. If you haven't already, you're going to want to make the channel where you will put the reaction role, otherwise known as the verification channel. Once you've made a channel, go to edit channel and then go to the permissions. As this is the verification channel for new members who have joined your server, you want them to be able to view your channel and read the message history of this channel. Otherwise, they won't be able to see the reaction role in the channel and they won't be able to verify themselves. And also make sure that you turn off send messages for extra safety in case you've done something wrong. And now add the verified role to the channel and make sure they cannot view the channel or read message history of the channel. As this means once a new member picks up the verified role, they can no longer see the verified channel. Obviously, if you want verified members to still be able to see this channel, you can just turn on view channel and read message history, but also make sure that you turn off send messages so that they can't send messages in the verified channel. And that is all you need to do for the verified channel. So you can cross out of that. Obviously with every other channel on your server, you don't want new members to be able to either see or send messages in any of these channels. So all you need to do is go to any channel you don't want new members to be able to see. And all you need to do is turn off view channel and read message history. And then of course you can do the reverse with the verified role and allow them to view channel and read message history on any channel you want them to be able to see, which should lead unverified members to only see the channels you want them to see. 
In this tutorial, I'll be making the verification reaction role using Dinobot, but if you have a different bot and want to use either Me6, Carlbot, or YagPDB to make your reaction role, then I already have three separate video tutorials on my channel that you can click right here or right here in the description below showing exactly how you can make reaction roles using any one of these bots. But please watch those after this video as having a better watch time really helps out and allows the video and channel to grow much better in the YouTube algorithm. So if you'd like, you can skip ahead to the time on the screen where I show exactly how to create the membership screening for your server, and then you can jump back to making the reaction role for your server. But for everyone else that wants to use Dino, let's make a verification reaction role. You're going to want to head to dino.gg and add the bot to your server if you haven't already. If you'd like to know how to add bots to your server, I also have a tutorial right here explaining how to add bots into your server. But for everyone else who has it, we can then go ahead to manage servers and then choose the server that you're using. Once the bot is in your server, go back to server settings, go to roles and find Dinobot, and make sure it is at the top of the member list of your server. You then want to give the bot at least the permissions of view channels, read message history, manage roles, send messages, manage messages, and use external emojis. Obviously, it needs to manage roles, otherwise it won't be able to give out roles when you click the reaction. And then you want to give it the very same permissions on your verified channel. Manage roles is not available to click here, but that doesn't matter. It's all good. It's already set in your server settings. So head back to dino.gg, click on manage servers, then click on modules on the left here, and then scroll down and click on reaction roles. And make sure the module at the top right here is turned on. Thankfully, creating reaction roles with Dinobot is actually one of the easiest bots to create reaction roles with, so this should be very easy to do. I won't run through all the options, but I'll just show you how to make a simple one reaction verification pickup reaction role with it either looking like you sent the message or the message was sent by the bot. Either way, the first thing you want to do is name your reaction role. This is just for your organization of reaction roles and it won't be seen on the server. Then select the channel you want your reaction role to be in. Obviously, we're going to pick the verification channel. Now we have three different options here, either plain message, embed message, or existing message. The two options I'm going to show is either plain message, which is when the bot sends the message, or existing message, which makes the reaction role look like it was sent by you. If you want the reaction role to be under your own message, simply go back to the server and write whatever you want as your message and also make sure to add instructions on your message because all the bot does is just add a simple reaction role. So if you don't tell members what to do, they won't know. You can also format this message however you want. It doesn't matter. All you need to do is write and send something into the channel. For example, I just wrote something very simple and then all you need to do is send the message and then go to more here and then click copy ID. If you can't copy an ID, go to your user settings, then go to appearance, scroll down and turn on developer mode. This will allow you to copy the ID of any message that you see or send in your server. So copy the ID and then go back to Dinobot. Then click existing message and copy and paste your message ID. If you want the message to be sent by the bot, all you need to do is click plain message and then write the exact same instructions you wrote by your own message and then do the exact same thing here. As these are once again the instructions as Dinobot will pretty much be the one sending the message and adding the reaction role to its own message. Once you've done that, just click on the red plus right here and then select whatever role you want to give people once they click the reaction role. Obviously, we're going to want to give them the verified role and then go to the left here once again at this top left plus sign and then click that and choose whatever emoji you want for people to click to react to. I'm going to click the thumbs as that was my instructions in the message. And if you want to add more roles for people to react to, you can just click the plus button at the bottom left here again and choose more roles for people to do. But obviously this is a verification role, so we only need one reaction. Lastly, you can click on the options right here and we don't really need to look at any of these things. You can check these things out in your own time if you want to. But one thing you can do is click keep reaction counter at one. This can make your channel look just a little more professional by having the number of people who have clicked your reaction always staying at one so it doesn't look messy at some random large number. If people can still view the verified channel once they have verified themselves, then I would recommend clicking add only as this means once they click the reaction, they cannot click it again to get rid of the role they just picked up. So if you want to keep it that way, you can click add only. Click on save 
and you are done. So just head back to your server and you will see there has been a reaction added to the message you sent in the server. So if we give it a test on this account, you can see that I have no roles on this account and I can only see the channels non-verified members can see. So once I click the reaction role, I'll be given the role and all of a sudden I can now see the rest of the server. We can see here that I've picked up the verified role and you'll also notice on the left here, the verified channel has completely disappeared out of sight. So now that's done, we can move on to the membership screening page for your server. This is pretty cool as it does make your server look a little more professional and can be used as a second verification system or the only verification system you use on your server. So head back to your server settings and go to enable community. The first thing you need to do is have your server as a community server, otherwise you won't be able to use the membership screening. So click on get started and go through all the steps you need to make your server into a community server. So once you've done that, head to a membership screening and this will create the membership screening page for people to agree to your rules of your server and perhaps get verified as well. Like I said before, you can see up here that granting a role to a new member will bypass this requirement. So obviously you don't want any members getting auto roles as soon as they join the server. All you do is press set up membership screening Simply type out a description of your server, then go to get started right here, and then enter whatever rules you wanna to add to your server. Or you can just be lazy and click the auto-generated rules right here that Discord gives to you. You can click add a rule to add your own personalized rules, but once you're done with that, all you need to do is click save and then click enable. You can also set up a welcome screen. This is the first screen that will show up when a member joins your server. And here you can basically just describe whatever your server is about and direct members to channels you want them to see. So you just stay in the server settings, click on the welcome screen and then click set up welcome screen. Simply follow the suggestions that Discord gives you and then press save. And then after that, just press enable and you now have the welcome screen as part of your server. With that being said, please like the video if you found this video helpful. I really appreciate any support you guys give to this video. Also, don't forget to check out the other reaction roles tutorial I have on my channel or you can click on a video on the screen right now and watch whatever you would like. I'm sure I've got some good tutorials and things right here please comment below if you have any questions for me or you can ask me in my discord server thank you again for watching and i'll see you all later in my next video